Hi guys, it's Michael here. Um, Darkside Phil has had a night to forget. And I don't think it's going to stop there. Uh, quite frankly, I think it's got a chance to get worse. And uh, I'm going to let this video play out and um, explain why afterwards. <laughs> He's just wondering how much money do you make on DSP Gaming now that ads are down across YouTube. It's like I said, you, DSP Gaming used to be 95% of my income, no lie. Then YouTube ad revenue dipped by 50%. So DSP Gaming became 50% of my income and now it's split kind of like 50 DSP Gaming, 50 Twitch. And I take that back actually. It's more like uh, 45 DSP Gaming, 45 Twitch, and maybe like, you know, 10, 15% um, Patreon or something like that. Actually, I take that back. Patreon's actually a lot more than that. But you understand what I'm saying. You, you get the gist of what I'm saying. Okay. So, using Phil's own words, where he says 50% of his monthly income is Patreon, we can extrapolate from that and try and figure out how much he earns a year. And it's all here. Going off his old Patreon goal, rather than his new one where he's jacked it up by $100. One thousand twenty-five a month. If that's fifteen percent, you can extrapolate that to six thousand eight hundred thirty-three dollars a month and thirty-three cents, and as an annual basis, eighty-two grand a year for a man that's struggling. What I've also added is some other figures. I've went with uh, average rent in where he lives in Washington and average rent for uh, Connecticut as a state just to cover his two properties now rent is not the same as mo like mortgage payment obviously but as Sean notice that's the figures I could get even if they are a little bit off uh, I've added his two broadband lines and then the rest will just be utilities food you know general cost of living stuff uh, but before all that comes into play, really, after the broadband and the average rent for two properties, you're talking about $62,704 left. And that's not the worst of it. Sound good? That's number one. That's how you can help me. Now, here's the other thing. YouTube obviously is going to be screwed up. I can't upload any videos to DSP Gaming, right? But... That doesn't mean that I have to stop streaming. I'm streaming right now is the only way I can make money. And I do want to say thank you to everyone who recently, all right, has been cheering, has been subbing, has been tipping. It's been great. In fact, these past few days have been particularly good because people were anticipating I wasn't going to be live streaming for several days. Um, yeah. So that being said, um, thank you for that. Things have been good. But now, obviously, what I'm really going to need from you guys is help. Um, so that I can keep doing this. So again, I know I've said it a million times, but thank you for the support. And if you can, when you're watching these live streams, cheering, subbing, tipping, all those things, um, you know, I now obviously I need them more than ever because it looks like potentially YouTube ad revenue may be going away um, if I can't get these copyright strikes cleared up off of DSP Gaming. All right. <clears throat> okay. So what we have here is the Twitch Terms of Service. Now I played that video before to highlight, you know, how Phil might be violating that Terms of Service. Um, I have looked at the acceptable use bits policy, uh, which often gets thrown about. Uh, it's mainly there to cover people from soliciting for bits and begging for bits in um, finance, situations of financial hardship which Phil is portraying this as and you quite clearly see here um, part 4 article B part 5 giving bits to a broadcaster is payment substitute to a broadcaster or in response to a request of financial support. 
This video is a financial, well, request for financial support. Bits followed. Now, to the letter of the law, that could land Phil in bother. Also, the follow up there, there six, soliciting bits and donations for other financial support. Now, the tricky thing comes when you consider this video is on YouTube. And as such, it may just slightly escape the clutches of Twitch Terms of Service. Perhaps it's something we should ask Twitch. But if something was to happen to Phil's Twitch, you could pin that video very much against him. So in a space of 24 hours, he may have just shot himself in the foot. Completely. Something to think about. Well done, Phil. Well done. That might just be it. See you later, guys.